everyone. Good morning. I actually, 12.30, good afternoon. I just did some telemedicine visits. I came in a little bit early, cleaned the office because I figured if I'm doing YouTube videos, I need to have a cleaner office. There was some stuff over there in that corner that I have cleaned up finally. One of which was my breast pump, which I have not used in over two years, I think. So just so awful that it's still here. I can't believe it's still in the office, but anyway. So just did some telemedicine visits. The last one I did was a lab review. So I thought I'd go over some of what's involved in the lab review visit. So first we'll see the patient for a new patient visit. And I went over in the last video, the elements of the new patient visit. So after we accomplish the workup, we'll meet with the patient usually three to four weeks after and go over all the results of the workup, including the blood work, the semen analysis, and the HSG. So then we'll go over if any of those blood tests or diagnostic studies need any addressing. And then after that, we'll go over the diagnosis, whether it's diminished ovarian reserve, a tubal factor, uterine factor, or male factor. After we go over that, then we go over treatment options. Two of the treatment options are IUI and IVF. First, in order to be a candidate for IUI, you need to have at least one open tube and enough sperm on the semen analysis. So as long as those two criteria are met, then we'll talk about IUI. So IUI, how it works is the patient will call the first day of their period, and then we'll bring them in, usually around cycle day two or three, and do ultrasound and blood work, make sure everything looks good to start. Then we will start them either on pills or pills with injections or injections alone, just depends on the patient's history and age. And then we will see them again around cycle day 10 to 12 and look at the follicles. So our goal is two to three follicles. We're trying to increase the chances of conceiving by allowing more than one egg to grow each month. So statistically, hopefully one of those eggs will meet the sperm. So we don't want too many though, because there is a risk of multiple. So usually two to, two to three is our goal with the medication. Once we do the ultrasound, look at how many follicles there are and their size, we'll determine when is best to trigger ovulation. And then after the trigger, the trigger will prompt ovulation to occur usually around 36 hours later, and that's when we perform the IUI. After that, it's up to the egg and sperm to meet on their own for a pregnancy to implant on its own. So we will just wait for a pregnancy test two weeks later. We do put patients on progesterone sometimes for extra luteal support. We'll meet with the patient also about a week after the IUI, just review the cycle, see how things went, and just make our next plans and steps from there. So generally speaking, IUI, the success rate is about 10%. Now that can be plus or minus depending on the woman's age and their history, but generally speaking, it's around that 10% ballpark. Okay, so that is IUI. I have to now head to our other office. I do the majority of my time in one location in Memorial City, but I do go to the med center one to two times a week to do clinic there and also do procedures. That's where our HSG machine is. So I'm gonna head over there and do some HSG procedures. So hopefully I can show you some of that process also. So I'm heading over, I'll see you guys soon. and I just did two HSG procedures, so I thought I'd take you through how that procedure goes. So first, the patient will lie down on the bed. We'll put a speculum in. We will cleanse the outside of the cervix with a cleaning solution called betadine. We do that with a couple of swabs. Then we'll introduce the catheter. It will go in the cervix and into the uterus. We'll inflate a little balloon. This will dilate the balloon and keep the catheter in the uterus. Then we will inject dye. Dye will go in the uterus and out the tubes, and we will take x-rays. And the x-rays will pick up the dye, and that's how we can assess these structures. After the procedure is complete, I'll remove all the instruments, we'll review the images with the patient, and then we'll have the patient follow up in clinic. We'll go over the full workup, including the blood work, the HSG, and semen analysis, and figure out our next steps from there. So that's pretty much how the procedure goes. If you have questions, leave them for me down below. And otherwise, I'm done with clinic, so I'm gonna head to Costco because I did not have a chance to do it during the weekend and I'm in desperate need of certain things like diapers, so I'm gonna head there now.
I'm home from Costco. It's about six o'clock. I guess that's not too bad considering it was clinic. And then I got the Costco errand in there, but it was, I have to say, a great time to go to Costco because it was not too busy. Not too many people around, got in and out. So that, that part of it was nice and got it done during the week and didn't have to eat up some of the weekend time. So that's also nice. So the rest of the night will be finish feeding the kids, TikTok video. That's when I do my videos is um, around dinner time and then spending some time with the kids watching some TV and prepping for work tomorrow. So that's the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and that's it. See you in the next video. Bye guys.